Hey, it's Bob, and it's Monday, August the 22nd, 2016. I'm coming to you live today from the old hammock here. Uh, it's a nice little old hammock. We just redid it, and just within the, the boundaries of the historic Casa del Green here above the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California. And the, the camp is, has boundaries, and, and we're just within the boundaries. We're here on the, the southeast corner of the perimeter where a huge pine tree that I got from the fair many years ago. It's about this big. <laughs> it it was it was put in there. Now you might wonder, well gee, what is today's word? Today's word is outside, outside. And I want to thank one of the uh, the devotees uh, to the Lord Jesus that uh, we have a devotional circle that uh, encompasses the globe, really, and it goes around the world. And now with YouTube, you know, there's people in Japan, China, Russia, England, Ireland, all over the world, people are watching uh, the Pasadena Bomb devotional. And it's it's a blessing to be able to reach out and to touch you and to say, in Jesus' name, let's let's, let's focus in on God. I have my Bible today, a real old-fashioned Bible with pages and everything. It's amazing. And in here, I've got all the info, a lot of really, really cool notes and things I've taken over the years. And it's got tons and tons. Look at look at Psalm 34. Psalm 34 right here. <laughs> uh, so what does it say? It says, I will bless the Lord. Now you notice this. This is live. I'm taping this. this is live. I didn't rehearse this. There's no bookmark. There's no little tassel. There goes a little note. <laughs> Let me pick that up. Oh, baby. And here's a little here's a little offering thing there. So, but it wasn't on the page I turned to. Just randomly turning, listen to what we found here. This is this is part of living within the the bounds of the Holy Spirit without without uh, living outside. If you live outside of God's boundaries, if you just decide, you know what, I think I'm gonna take off. I think I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start drifting off. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go climb a tree. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna run away. I'm going to do it my way because I believe in science. I believe in alcohol. I believe in sex. I believe in money. I believe in power. I believe in hate. You can believe in a lot of things. And it's going to take you just outside the boundaries of the historic Casa del Green camp here above the Rose Bowl, which in this particular moment is representing our life in Christ. If I stay within the bounds here of the historic Casa del Green camp, then <clears throat> I'm, I'm on my property. I'm within my, my rights to, to be here. If I go out past the boundaries of the historic Casa del Green camp here above the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California, if I go out beyond the rules of the camp, then I'm not that I have to follow the rules of of the road. I've got to follow the rules of the community. Even within the bounds of the Casa del Green, there are rules, there are regulations, there's there's city codes and things that, that must be followed and adhered to. But more importantly than any of that is God's word. It's God's word. It's God's word. Let's take a look right now at God's word and let's see what I happen to turn to. I'm really excited about it. It says this is Psalm 34. The Lord, a provider and deliverer, a Psalm of David, when he feigned madness before Amalekh and drove him away, and he departed. Here's what he says. This is one of my favorite songs. If you, if you want to check it out sometime with me, if we ever get together, say, Bob, can you play that beautiful song that you're always talking about? And this is a song that I've, I have been on for a long time. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul, my soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and rejoice. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and he delivered me from all my fears. Wow. And down below verse 8. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. How blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. For those who fear him, there is no want. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not be in want of any good thing. Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is man who desires life and love length of days he may see good? I will note here from my friend Belma, in February of 1978, Fire, fire, 
Wow. The Lord looks from heaven. He sees all the sons of men. That's Psalm 33, 13. And as I just am here present before you with the Lord, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. That's so important. That's so important. That's so important. I personally know of people who are speaking lies. I personally know of people who are leading others astray. I know of them. I know them. They don't know what they're talking about, but they act like they know, they know, they, they, they know, they know, but they don't know anything because I know the truth and they don't know the truth. But do they ask me, do they say, hey, you know, hey, old man, can I come in? Can, I, can you talk? Can I talk to you? They've never had a conversation. They don't care to know the truth. They want to live outside of the truth. They'd rather live in their little fantasy world of what they think is true rather than what God's Word just said to us right here. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. You need to pursue peace. Why do we have the daily devotional every single day? Because I want to live within the bounds of God's Word. I want to live in truth. I want to live in the power of the Holy Spirit. And I know that you do too. You want to do that same thing. That's why you tuned in today. That's why you went to YouTube, and that's why you've, you've written to me at 8954green at att.net on the email. That's 8954green at att.net. That's why you wrote to me, because you want to get the daily devotional in written form. I'm going to be writing it up in just a minute. I'm going to pack these scriptures in there. It's going to be awesome. You need to reach me by phone. You can call me anytime. 213-713-8954. If I'm not there, you're going to hear a little message. It'll go, uh, you know, for instance, for tomorrow. Wednesday... August 23rd. Let me know what you need. Text or email 8954green at att.net. Tweet at bombbomb8954. And of course, there's a tweet. Tweet every single day as well. And today's word is going to be outside, just like I'm talking about outside. Now, what do these little words do? Is this going to somehow do something really special for you? Depends. Do you want to find out more about God? Do you want to have a little little extra little push over the top to, to learn more about God? If you do, then you're going to listen and you're going to be responsive. And you're going to praise God. And let's continue on in God's Word. The eyes of the Lord are towards the righteous, and His ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against evildoers, to cut off the memory from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord hears, and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted, and he saves those who are crushed in spirit. I want to tell you something. I do a lot of crying, and I've been crushed so many times. People like crushing me. I guess I look like a crushable guy. You know, let's pick on old Bob. People have described my life as a life of Job. I just am a loser a lot of times. I just lose. People like to kick me around. I'm not complaining. I'm getting better at being stronger. I'm being kicked around a lot less. But my life has been one of being crushed. And my spirit is one to, to be trusting. My spirit is one that says, Abba Father, Abba Father. I trust my fiance, Jean. I trust her. I've given her my heart, soul. I've given her my life. I trust her. She could easily squish me like a bug. She could easily just take me for a ride. I'm trusting that she won't do that. And of course, Jean is learning to trust me. When we met back in January of 2016, a little earlier this year, we didn't know each other, and we've been through a lot of different times to learn how to live inside a relationship and how to, how to respect each other, how to trust each other. And Jean messes up. I mess up just as much or more. I mean, I'm a big mess up. Sure, I'm a little older. Sure, I, I, you know, I have a little more years, but you know what the Bible says? <laughs> it says that there's nobody. No, not one. Where are they? There's nobody. If anybody says, I'm not a sinner, I don't mess up. I'm a nice person. I, I comb my hair. I polish my head. I even tie my shoes. 
Well, good for you. I wear zip ties. <laughs> so, it doesn't make any difference how nice a person you are. The point of the matter is that to live within the bounds of the, of the life of God We, we need to have a humble heart. We need to listen to the Holy Spirit. We need to give ourselves over to worship, to worship. Let's look at the first part of this. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I will bless the Lord at all times. That's worship. That's worship, my friend. If you want to know God, if you want to live within the bounds of the Holy Spirit's presence, then live in worship. Live in worship. Live in worship. Live in worship. Put your hands up and stretch them up high. And don't, and sure, you can, you can stand like this. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's fine. That's what you do. That's what your thing is. But me, I mean... <laughs> I have, I have been through so much that I want to worship and serve and love and give my God with all my heart, my soul, my mind, and my strength, with everything that's within me. So I can't just, well, well, you know. You ever play bingo? Bingo, you lose. You're gonna go, bingo, you're gonna lose. No one's gonna hear you. No, I called bingo years ago. And it's the first, bingo! No, they get their hands up and they're screaming and they're waiting, bingo, bingo! They're gonna be the ones that are gonna get the, cause if you just, bingo, bingo, bingo. You know what? The old lady with the blue hair, she's gonna be whistling and screaming and clapping and she's gonna get the prize. She'll win the $500. You'll be like, but I had bingo. But you didn't give your whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. So the old lady, she gets it. <laughs> Let's continue on. This is what God says. I wrote this down. God's will for your life. This is from Pastor Bill. He was my a youth pastor back in 1977. So I got it written right here. Look, see? 1977. I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go. Today, today, this day, this very day, Jean and I have a little Kia Soul. It's, it's Jean's car and uh, we, I drive it and she drives it. And, but the little turn signal on the left was out. I never worked on a Kia. I had no idea how to work on a Soul. But YouTube, you know, and prayer. And I, I kind of, I looked at it in my evaluation because I, I, I'm not, I'm pretty good with stuff, you know, I'm pretty good with mechanical stuff. I said, well, you got to take on all these bolts and, you know, I was just a guess, just, just a theory. And so I got the video and this little lady from Wisconsin was like, well, yeah, the manual says you're going to take off all these bolts and climb underneath and take it. That was pretty tough to get to. You can do all that. Yeah. <laughs> or, or, or. You can just reach down and just pull this little plug, and there it is. So, <laughs> so, so I, 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 I couldn't figure it out. I was expecting to look down for wires, looking for wires. Where are the wires? Turned out, I thought, I'm going to try this little plug I found. There it was, the little yellowy orange bulb, all corroded and burned out. And I, I was given what it says here. My, my, my wife, Jean, said, how in the world did you do that so quick? I said, well, the Lord told me how to do it. I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Do not be as a horse or a mule, which have no understanding, whose trappings include a bit and a bridle to hold them in check. Otherwise, they may not come near you. Many of the sorrows of the wicked, but he who trusts the Lord, loving kindness shall surround him. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you righteous ones and shout for joy all you upright in heart god bless you today i love you i love you with all my heart you know why because our god loves us amen 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 i'll check you out tomorrow I'll see ya tomorrow will be the 23rd of august if you need anything give me a call i love you and remember let's live within the bounds of god amen amen